Hi to everybody. 2015 will be a year of transformation. As you know, the Millennium Development Goals will come to an end and they will be replaced by the Sustainable Development Goals. This is why Eval Partner, the global partnership to strengthen national evaluation capacities uh, that is led by IOC and, U and UN Women, decided to, uh, to declare 2015 as the International Year of Evaluation. What do we want with the, the International Year of Evaluation? First of all, we would like to mainstream evaluation in the future Sustainable Development Goals, including strengthening the capacity and making sure that the aspect of social equity and gender equality in the Sustainable Development Goals uh, will be evaluated. But also, perhaps more importantly, we want to bridge the gap between the evaluation community and the policy makers. We want to make sure that we will be able to reach out to those who are supposed to demand and use evaluation in policy making. What's the progress done so far? Well, we have uh, almost 30 organizations all over the world that they already joined the global movement for the International Year of Evaluation and already declared it uh, in the International Year of Evaluation. We have 3,000 people that did that, that they stood up and they made uh, the declaration in their own language. We, we have a, a thousand and thousand of people who are using the Eval Year, the International Year Evaluation logo in, uh, in their website, in their email signature, in 26 different languages. What can we do in future in 2015? Well, it, 2015 will be a year of global social mobilization. We know that there are already 15 uh, regional or global evaluation events that are planned and through the international evaluation what we want to do is, is to have a, an evaluation torch that will uh, link together all these different events. And the evaluation torch mainly is a way uh, to communicate when we are a global community of evaluators that comes together to discuss mainly four themes. First of, all, first of all, is really how, as I already said, how to bridge the gap between the evolution community and policymakers, between uh, the supply side and the demand side. The great news is that we already have a network of parliamentarians for development evaluation in Africa, in Middle East, and in South Asia. So those parliamentarians, they already committed themselves to use evaluation more and more in their own countries. And they also committed themselves to demand for equity focus and gender responsive national evaluation policy in their countries. And this is the second topic of this evaluation torch. Really, how to strengthen uh, where they are existing or how to develop where they are not existing equity focus and gender responsive national evaluation policies. Uh, the third uh, theme of this evaluation torch is about the sustainable development goals. So really how we can strengthen the capacities of countries, regions and international organizations in uh, evaluating the sustainable development goals at the international level, but also the national development goals at the national level. And the last theme is the uh, global evaluation agenda for 2016-2020. The International Year of Evaluation is creating a lot of interest, a lot of expectations. We have parliamentarians that uh, are, uh, are talking about the International Year of Evaluation. We have uh, UN agencies and UNEC. We have uh, member states at the, at the UN General Assembly. We have thousands of, uh, of evaluators all over the world. So expectations are very high, but how can we as evolution community equip ourselves to be able to address those expectations. What should be the priorities for the evaluation community in the next four years from 2016 to 2020 to be able to equip ourselves as global evaluation community to address those challenges? So these are the, the four themes that will be discussed in these at least 15 uh, events that goes from uh, events in uh, the, the first one will be in February in Cairo with uh, the Eval Mena conference hosted by the Arab League and the Eval Mena uh, Association and then uh, it, will, it will move in different countries in different regions and it will culminate in November 2015 at the Parliament of Nepal. 
that will be the first time ever that a global evaluation event will be hosted by a parliament and there will be parliamentarians from all over the world coming together to celebrate 2015, the International Year of Evaluation, and also to, to come together with the evaluation community to make sure that at, at the end, finally, this bridge, this gap between uh, the evaluation community and the policy maker uh, is, uh, is bridged, and therefore evaluation really will be used uh, to strengthen evidence-based policy making for uh, uh, results for uh, women, children, and everywhere uh, in the world. So thanks a lot and, and please join Eval Partners and all the global evolution community in celebrating 2015 and also in, uh, in coming up with uh, what challenges, what priorities should we address in the future. Thanks a lot.